Hello, welcome to Prezim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 24, Method Overriding versus Method Hiding. In this session, we'll find the difference between Method Overriding and Method Hiding. Let's look at an example. In this example, you can see we have a base class which has got a print method which just prints a message to the console saying I am a base class print method. Now, I'm going to have another method, another class, public class, derived class. And this class is going to inherit from the base class. And this class is also going to have a print method. And in the previous session, we have seen polymorphism where a base class reference variable can invoke a derived class object at runtime. Okay, if you haven't watched the video on polymorphism, I would strongly encourage you to do so before watching this session. So what I'm going to do here is, in the base class method, I'm going to mark this as virtual. So once you mark a method as virtual in the base class, it indicates to the child classes that any child class which is inheriting this virtual method can actually override and change the definition of the print method. So I can go ahead and override this. So this is overriding. We are overriding the implementation of the base print method in the child class. Okay. Now if I go ahead and create a base class reference variable and to this base class reference variable instead of assigning the base class object what we are going to do is we are going to assign derived class object and from the inheritance session we know that a base class reference variable can point to a derived class object if you haven't watched that inheritance video i would encourage you to do so all right so we have the base class reference variable now when i say b.print and keep in mind, this, though the reference variable is of type base class, it's actually pointing to a child class object. And from polymorphism session, we know that a base class reference variable pointing to a child class object at runtime, the base class reference variable will figure out what type of object is there. And if that object has overridden the virtual method, then the overridden version will be called. So if I go ahead and run this, so look at what's going to happen. I am a base class print method. That's wrong. Uh, I mean, that's correct in a way. Actually, we haven't changed, you know, the text here. So let's change that. So since we are overriding that the derived class, we will say I am a derived class print method. So obviously, now if we go ahead and run this, you should see a message on the screen. I am a derived class print method. Okay, so virtual in your base class, derived override in your derived class, and in the main method, you create a base class reference variable which points to a derived class object, and at runtime, the overridden print method will be called in spite of the reference variable being of type base class. That's basically overriding a method. So if you look at the slide. So this is that program. So in method overriding, a base class reference variable, a base class reference variable B pointing to a derived class object will invoke the overridden method in the child class. So that's what does method overriding. But let's look at method hiding. How do we hide a method? To hide a method, you use the new keyword. We have seen this in the previous session. Okay, so when we use this new keyword, what's going to happen, this derived class is actually hiding the base class. Okay, now look at this. In the main method, what are we doing? We are, we are not changing the code in the main method. The base class reference variable is still pointing to a derived class object. But since the variable is of type base class, okay, the base class print method will be called in this case. So, if a base class reference variable is pointing to a child class and if the child class has hidden the base class print method, the base class method itself will be called. So that's method hiding if you have hidden a method. So if we go ahead and run this, so I am a base class print method. Though the child class has hidden that, 
since the reference variable is of type base class we actually end up calling the base class method that's basically the difference if we go back to the slides the only difference between this code and this code is here we have override here we have new this is method overriding this is method hiding and rest of the code is exactly similar the only difference is in if you have overridden the method a base class reference variable pointing to a derived class object will end up calling the overridden child class method whereas in method hiding a base class reference variable pointing to a child class object will invoke the hidden method in the base class that's basically the difference and that's what is exactly happening here okay on this slide you can find additional resources for c-sharp and asp.net interview questions and before we actually wind up I would also like to show you this now, on the other hand if I want to invoke the derived class method when it's actually hiding the base class method then what I need to do is derived class D is equal to new derived class if I go ahead and do this then I will end up invoking the derived class print method so if I go ahead and run that you know the second print here will actually call the derived class print method that's it Thank you for listening. Have a great day.